Hey guys, it's your weird Elvis loving makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here today with another video. Same Luke. But today we're gonna do a monthly favorites video. I've been so excited to talk about this because October is my favorite month of the entire year, Halloween. I was born in this month, so there's a lot to go over, and so I feel like there's so many things I love, especially because it was my birthday, so I got a lot of things to show you. And I've been dying to talk about, play with, use beauty makeup because I've been doing so many makeup effects this month. So first of all, of course, we need to talk about makeup. For my birthday, my best friend, Bunny, graveyard girl here on YouTube, gave me the most greatest gifts. I was so surprised and excited. She got me this Melt Cosmetics Impulse Eyeshadow Palette. I'm wearing it today on my eyes. This thing is so wonderful. I've been eyeing this for a very long while. It's pretty pricey and I was so surprised she got for me. Oh, look. So pretty. The only thing it's missing is a matte black eyeshadow, but this is probably one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. Just like the layout of it, the colors, this mustard yellow and this color is what I'm using today. And this one's probably my favorite eyeshadow color in this whole entire palette. This one is calling my name. There's just so many pretty colors. I love that it's like fall time, but could be everyday type of makeup look as well. I'm not usually a pastel pink kind of girl. This is like speaks my language. It's so pretty and it works so well. What I love about eyeshadows is when you don't have to spray it with like Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus or like water or anything to get real pigment payoff. And this is one of those you don't need to spray anything or layer too much. There's not a lot of fallout. It blends so nicely into the skin. So I'm so incredibly lucky that my best friend got it for me. And it feels so well made, like a high-end book. It's so heavy. I've never owned a Melt Cosmetics palette or product in my entire life till now. If you want eyeshadows that are just as good as that for half the price, literally there's some sales on the site that this eyeshadow company has that I've been eyeing for a long time as well because she has a Beetlejuice palette I still wanna get my hands on and an Alien palette that I love, but I really wanted to thank her for coming out with this because I've been, like I said, following her for so long and she's been so sweet to me. She just started following me and talking to me and I told her I'm saving my money so hardcore to buy your palettes and she just randomly sent me some eyeshadow palettes and I'm in love. The quality of these are just as good as that for a fraction of the price and no shade to Melt Cosmetics, but these two palettes that I got from her, Kush Queen and the Spirit Board palette. Let me tell you about the Spirit Board palette. For Halloween, this was like my all time most used palette because it has the greatest cool tones, dark colors for like any type of vampire, exorcism. I did use this for Morticia. I used this for Zombie Boy. I used this for Miss Argentina. This was like my go to. I love that there's a big mirror on it. This matte black eyeshadow hands down the best matte black eyeshadow I've ever used in my life it's called possess the names of these are amazing it's so creative I love the layout of the colors that she chooses and you just don't have to again use any type of spray any type of water they're just so pigmented buttery and nice one of the best quality eyeshadow palettes. I was highly surprised, not that I wasn't expecting like dirt or anything, but once you try something that's super good and you get into no shade to like some of the Wet n Wild eyeshadows, but these are top notch. Look how pretty this is. That orange, oh my gosh, the greens. This is so beautiful. So check out PG Queen blog and that eyeshadow palette is next level with the colors. This one, they don't have is like many crazy versatile fall type colors, but this for like Halloween, excuse me, if you're into like romantic gothic looks, this could be like your everyday. This white shimmer shade for extreme fantasy looks as a highlight, perfection. Now, I don't have it in my hands because it's dirty over there and I don't wanna to touch a dirty sponge, but the ColourPop, Sponge looks just like the Tarte Cosmetics makeup sponge. You know, everyone sees the formula of the beauty blur like we need to do that. 
So this one was not that expensive. It's super cute and it's a different material than most sponges I've tried and I like it and it worked pretty darn well. And so I need to talk about that ColourPop sponge. Another thing this month I tried, I was super surprised by is the Wet n Wild Cream Paint Pots. These are almost as good as like the Makeup Forever. You know, it's like $100 for so many colors and you can mix and match it to do like lipstick, blush, cream eyeshadow, foundation, just everything. It's like a makeup artist kit's dream. Like everybody also copied that, like the beauty blender. It's so freaking expensive. I'm not saying this is that versatile. I'm not saying that you could use this for foundations or whatever, but this for like fantasy, if you're into fantasy and effects makeups, these blend out to and together so nicely. I've been using them so much. They're only $4 and you could probably get them at the drugstore, maybe still now. This came in the Fantasy Makers collection that they came out for this Halloween and it, we got this huge PR box, a lot of influencers with like a Haunted Mansion. I wish I could get multiple of those to give them out to you guys because they're so fun, so beautiful. You know, not all the products are 100%, but these ones were so good. And their lipsticks, these Wet n Wild cat suits. I know I've talked about them before. These are so good as well. It's like the only black lipstick that shows up on my face really well that I love to. They're covered in powder. But these liquid cat suits by Wet n Wild are really good too for the price. Now let's talk about skincare. I've been having to go really gentle and take care of my skin this holiday season because Halloween, I put so much liquid latex on my face. Right now I'm covering this cut I got on my mouth from my skin drying out so much for the layers of liquid latex for my job. And then I literally like ate a chip and it injured my mouth and I cut it open and now it won't heal because it's in that spot right at the crook of my mouth. It's so painful and annoying and it won't heal. So we'll see how that goes. No, I don't have any infections or cold sores or anything. It, I just literally cut my mouth with a chip, of course. Me, that would happen to me. I've had so many weird things this month with like food. I almost died from choking on chicken noodle soup like a pea between my sinus cavities and my it was just my throat it was disgusting we're still wearing this halloween makeup i'm going to talk about some skincare that i have loved i'm pretty sure i got this the, both of these skincare products in a boxy charm but these together on my skin is just amazing i have super sensitive skin so whenever i find something that doesn't break me out everything from glow recipe breaks me out i don't know what it is with them and everyone uses that beautiful watermelon mist which smells like candy like they literally smell like sour patch kids and i want to wear it so bad but it breaks me out like nobody's business it annoys me but these don't so if they work for me they might work for you this is the wander beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil it literally looks like if you took unicorn tears and it's like the sparkly pink barbie liquid i would pump it out for you but i super love this and i don't want to waste it but it, just trust me it's so beautiful and it just melts into your skin i also mix it with this glass skin refining serum from peach and lily and it literally has peach extract in it and smells like peaches so if you're allergic to peaches don't use this but it looks like this crystal water like gel and it just your skin soaks it up it's great so those two mix together in the morning and at night for me personally is so good. I know nothing about skincare, but I just know what works for my skin. It doesn't prick me out and those don't and they feel amazing. Speaking of luxuriness, luxuries for the skin. For my birthday, I was so happy and excited. My family splurged. If I get a designer bag or designer glasses, I don't feel rich or fancy. The moments I feel rich is if I'm eating fancy food or if I'm using Lush products. I'm not talking about any Lush products. I'm talking about like the big mega bath bombs, the big size of everything's because they're really expensive. For example, my favorite Lush scent is finally on permanent collection. It's the Rose Jam Rose Argan scent and it smells like jelly that you eat mixed with fresh cut roses. It's so good. I got the huge body conditioner. This baby is like 50 bucks. This makes me feel like a rich, luxurious lady that lives in a mansion. I don't know why I could be I'm using this in like the cheapest tubs but I feel fancy like I don't deserve it 
So once you wash your body with your loofah and soap and you rinse that off, I turn the shower off, put this on my body, and then you can rinse this off. It's an extreme body conditioner, so you don't have to like, you know that I don't like the way a lot of moisturizers feel, like you feel like you're wearing a layer of slime. I don't like that feeling. That's why I love CeraVe lotion and stuff that absorbs in the skin quickly. And this absorbs quickly and then you get to rinse most of it off. And the soap I've been loving is the shower gel and I also have the bar soap. I got the Rose Jam sh shower gel. Look how huge this is. These are so expensive. I still feel so fancy, like, come on. And it smells so good. It's my favorite scent of all time. There's this other scent from Pacifica. They stopped making this and I'm really upset about it. They had this soap. I feel like Samantha Ravindahl from YouTube because the things I like that they discontinue is happening a lot the older I get. So Pacifica had this, I'm pretty sure it was vegan. It was a, their blood orange. I know they still have the Pacifica blood orange like body lotions, but I can't use those because I'm allergic, but they had this soap. It was a bar soap. It was so magical. It looked like a huge chunk of amber like the amber you see in Jurassic Park with the mosquitoes in it, but this one, instead of mosquitoes, it had like like flower petals. It was so beautiful and it smelled. That was the best scent soap I've ever had in my life. I love scents and smells, and that was just so, so great. And they stopped making it, and it's so upsetting because people are selling it on eBay for like almost 20 bucks for one bar of soap. And I used to be able to get it at a Japanese market for like four or five bucks but I can't find it anywhere and I'm pretty sure they discontinued it, stopped making it. So this is all I have. This is the second best soap. That was the first one. That one also has so many memories tied to it because I used to use it when me and Corey were first dating like five years ago now. If you find that Pacifica blood orange bar of soap, you can bring it my way. It's so hard to find, it's like a rarity. Some other things I got for my birthday from my best friend that I absolutely love was this really cute classified bag. A lot of me and my bestest friends are into conspiracy theories and believe a lot of them come up with our own. So this reminds me of X-Files and conspiracy theories. It could fit a laptop in it, you know, my dirty makeup brushes cause I could clean it out nice because it's that cool reusable material. It's so amazing. I can't wait to travel with this more. I was so lucky because me and Bunny were looking for these Haunted Mansion backpacks. Haunted Mansion was having their anniversary. It was like a big one. I think it was 50 years, I'm not quite sure. But this backpack, we couldn't find them. It, well, we heard that they were hard to find. I don't remember if we got it at Box Lunch, which is my favorite store, or Hot Topic, but we found them and we got matching ones. I got this for my birthday from her, and it's the Haunted Mansion with the hitchhiking ghosts on the front of it. And I feel like this one's the cutest one because it could go with everything. It's mostly black. It says the Haunted Happy Haunts here. And I have my little guy. I'm, if you guys see these hand sanitizer things, during Halloween, they're my favorite. Snag them up because I keep buying them every year and they keep breaking and it makes me so sad. His wing broke and this one's about to fall off. It's like holding on by hope and a prayer. So this is my bag. It's so cute and it has pockets on the side. It's really big and roomy for its size. I absolutely adore. I use it like every single day. More stuff that I love that I got for my birthday. My boyfriend took me to the most magical place. One of my absolute favorite places on the planet Earth literally in the top three. It's called Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach. I always post about it when I go there on my Instagram story, so you can follow me on Instagram for some of the adventures there. It is so beautiful. It's like a fancy outdoor nursery for rich people. And it's across the street from Fashion Island, which is this outdoor mall that I've never been to because it's for rich, fancy people. And it would make me feel awkward. I don't know, I should just go. But this is across the street from that. And every year during Halloween is my favorite time, starting in September through October into Halloween, they do this thing where it's like this art gallery of like Halloween stuff. And they have like mostly local artists make Halloween decorations and they sell them. They sell all these 
cool crafts and Halloween decorations and each room is decorated differently but each year they have a theme. This year was Malice in Wonderland. I've been going to this for years. I've seen Malice in Wonderland there before so they repeat every few years. They have a giant teacup there this year. White rabbits. They have a lot of tea themed things. Inside you can see figurines that artists handmade of the Mad Hatter, of Alice in Wonderland. Just so many great things. My favorite, absolute favorite thing year round to get there is candles and during the Halloween season Corey spotted this candle that reminded him of me and my love for witches and Halloween things and hocus pocus and it's this black candle and they had this in multiple sizes and he got me a ton of other candles they're so expensive but he restocked me on my favorite candle I can't find it anywhere and I've bought this before it's literally over $30 anytime I spend over $20 on a candle I feel like don't spoil me, girl. It's That's a lot of money for a candle. And I have so many candles. This one's one of my all-time favorite scented candles other than Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. This one's pretty good too, but this one's my favorite. It's like this beautiful glass green with the wax seal on it. It has this wooden top and they sell that at Rogers Gardens. And he was so sweet. I'm more about experiences than gifts for my birthday. So I didn't even expect to get gifts from Corey. He literally took me, oh, he got me those, you know the tails for these stupid iPhones because you can't put your headphones in it? He got me those because I always lose them in these candles. He took me out to there and we got like, he made me a fret homemade cheeseburger. It was such a magical, like simple birthday that I love. So another monthly favorite is sleepy time tea. I have a nighttime regimen and it makes me so much more happier and calmer and I suffer from PTSD, anxiety and panic attacks. So when I'm overwhelmed or if I'm just having a day, I need to have a routine to like put me in a Zen mode back in my peace. And I look at it as like if someone is causing me PTSD or something, or if like I'm just having a moment, it's something or someone just taking me out of my peace or Zen mode. So I do this to get me back into my peace zone. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I call it. I take a bubble bath and I use this and like a bath bomb and watch like ASMR of this, oh, the Chinese girl on YouTube that I have to link you down below because I don't remember her YouTube channel. It's actually in Chinese. I watch that while I take like really hot, nice long baths and I drink sleepy time tea after that. This doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me. There's no caffeine in this. Um, there's chamomile and spearmint, peppermint, lemongrass, and some florals in here. It's gluten-free, caffeine-free, like I said. This works for me. I steep it for six minutes with one little teaspoon of sugar, and I drink it right after my bathtub. And then while I'm waiting for that to kick in, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes for me to, for this to kick into my system to make me actually sleepy. I'm usually reading in bed or what I love to do is my favorite thing ever is play Katamari. If you haven't played Katamari, I have a PlayStation. It's one of my all time, it's probably my all time favorite game, not one. It is my all time favorite game. I don't know what it is about. You're this little tiny person. You get to pick between these little tiny purple people. My favorite one is this one that lo looks like pink little pile of poop with hearts on it. She's so cute. I think it's girl. Don't know. They don't have gingers. But they roll around these balls that collect objects in these different worlds. And you have to try to collect as many objects as you can to make this huge thing. Or you have to get it to a huge certain size ball of junk. And I don't know what it is about collecting junk, but you get to make stars in a solar system. Like there's these giant robot people that take what you collected it's a Japanese game, it's magical, and they make it into s stars, a planet, or like star dust, like in the cosmos, and it's so much fun. I don't know what it is about collecting, like, I think in my mind I see it like as a mess, and organizing for me helps me like mentally with my anxiety and everything, so it is so great. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna play it right after I film this to like motivate me to get breaks between work. It really like changed my life. Katamari changed my life. I know that's so dramatic, but it literally did. You guys just need time for yourself every day, no matter how, how hard you work. You need to have you time. You need to give back to yourself. And Katamari is that thing for me. I know it's extreme.
But that was my monthly favorites. It was so nice to sit down and talk to you guys like normal friends again. Since Halloween is over, I get to relax. I'm actually pre-filming everything because I'm spending Halloween this year with my absolute best friend, Bunny. So that's fun. That's the first time I've ever been away for Halloween. And I got a new haircut this month. That's also a favorite. I absolutely love it. Check out Kayla in Long Beach, California at Palor Marie in Long Beach. She does great work on my hair. She always does my hair and she's so sweet. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything I talked about in this video. We list down below with links and everything that I could find. I love you creators. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.